You can't change the past, but you can learn from it. That is my focus, and that should also be everyone else's focus. This episode is called Breaking Black. It starts off in the Dinobite Cafe, and Coda, Tyler, Riley, and Shelby are working hard, while Chase is distracted by his phone and a woman that came into the cafe. And because of him not paying attention, the kitchen was on fire. <laughs> Man. They then have a long talk with him later about how the museum could have been burnt down because of his mistake, and Chase is just playing it cool like it's no big deal. Then his fortune teller friend, Moana, shows up, and she tells him that someone is going to steal from her very soon, and how she wants Chase to guard her shop. So he goes on to do that, along with play games on his phone, eat snacks, and sleep. And there is the Spellbinder, taking that valuable that Moana was talking about. He then wakes up at the last minute, gets hit by the monster, and Chase isn't looking so good. But on the skateboard, he seemed okay. He then contacts his friends, morphs up, and fights off the Spellbinder until his friends arrive. And right when they do, Chase tried to get in a few extra shots on the monster. But since he was trying to control his mind, the other rangers stepped in right away, which led to Spellbinder's retreat. So much for that. But at least the Dinocom worked, so that was something. The rangers then receive a new Dino Spike Charger from Kendall, which will only work with the combined strength of all five rangers. Nice. Keeper then warns Chase about the dangers of being under control by the Spellbinder, and the other four rangers leave to find Moana for information on how to break the spell. And they learned that it's a pendant that was forged from an evil heart in the darkest corner of New Zealand. But by who? That is not explained yet. She then tells them how she first met Chase, and we see him putting his life on the line to save her cat. Wow. Hashtag save the animals. And what did she give him in return? The Black Energem. Sweet. And in case anyone is wondering why Koda is 100,000 years old and can't speak perfect English, that's because he was frozen in a glacier for thousands of years with no way out. How did he escape? I have a feeling that Keeper helped him, but that is a story for another day, or in this case, another episode. Anyway, Moana gives the rangers one last hint, and that is when Chase is on his skateboard, he can push everything else from his mind. And thanks to Shelby helping him out, he was able to break free, and the rangers all together defeated Spellbinder with their Dino Steel and Dino Spike. Sledge then uses the Magna Beam to make him grow. The rangers form the Dino Charge Megazord in Para Raptor formation. They use their Fireball finish, and that is yet another monster extinct. But even though they won, Sledge is now in possession of that strange pendant. Uh oh. And the episode ends with Chase seeing off Moana, and he goes to clean up the Dino Museum on his skateboard with no more distractions. I don't know about you, but I am very impressed with this season so far. Like, seriously. Each episode has been solid, the acting is great, the villains are interesting, and the Rangers, well, they actually feel important. After seeing how each of them got their inner gems, all that came to mind was two words, great storytelling. I like Keeper and Kindle too. Some people might say that having two mentors is a bit much, but to me, it works just fine. I also enjoyed the Megazord battle and the unmorphed fight too, and the way Sledge got angry and said, Magna Beam, was funny, in my opinion, and I can't wait to see more. What did you guys think? Have you enjoyed this season so far? And as of right now, who is your favorite Dino Charge Ranger? Lastly, when the word focus comes to mind, what do you think about? Let me know. And until next time, Mr. Weenie Productions is signing out.